इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखने के लिए सेटिंग्स में जाकर हिंदी ऑडियो चुनें। नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिंपली फाइव स्पेस Often we find ourselves with leftover food from the previous day such as rice, roti, vegetables and more sitting in the kitchen and we don't feel like eating them again. Additionally, there are often small portions of raw vegetables lying in the fridge that we forget about leading to discarding them later. But did you know that we can create delicious new recipes from these leftovers? It helps to reduce food wastage and resources. Let's explore how we can transform these leftovers into something delightful and tasty. Often small pieces of vegetables are left forgotten in the corners of our fridge vegetable boxes. These leftover bits while not enough to make a full dish are perfect for adding flavor to recipes like parathas. However, if left unused, they can spoil leading to unnecessary waste. Today let's turn these neglected veggies into a delicious pav bhaji in a simple manner. I have gathered cauliflower, carrot, capsicum, beans and beetroot from my fridge and diced them into small pieces. I am adding a little bit of bottle gourd also because I had that in my fridge but you can skip it if you wish to. Additionally we will need chopped onions tomatoes potatoes and some peas In a pressure cooker heat a mix of butter and oil then add cumin seeds followed by onions Saute until they turn translucent then add red chili powder turmeric and 3 tablespoon of pav bhaji masala Stir fry a bit and then add chopped tomatoes and cook until they soften Next add all the diced vegetables along with water and salt to taste. Pressure cook for 7 to 8 whistles until the vegetables are tender. Once cooked mash the vegetables thoroughly with the masher. Cook for some time to make the gravy thicker. Finish off your pav bhaji by adding a tadka of butter, pav bhaji masala and kasuri methi for extra flavor. Serve hot with pav for a delicious meal. Let's explore another recipe using leftover rice, a childhood favorite of mine that I would love to share. To the leftover rice add pickle masala chopped coriander leaves salt and red chili powder and mix thoroughly This mixture becomes the flavorful stuffing for our parathas Similar to how we typically prepare stuffed paratha fill it with this rice mixture and cook on tawa Trust me these parathas are incredibly delicious. Serve them hot with curd for a delightful meal. This next recipe is not only very simple but also happens to be my son's favorite. We will transform leftover rotis into cheesy roti sandwiches. Take the leftover roti and add either cheese slices or shredded cheese depending on what you have available sprinkle some pizza seasoning or oregano over the cheese fold the roti in half and grill it in a sandwich maker with a little butter voila in no time you have hot and delicious snack ready perfect for children
often when preparing sandwiches or other bread recipes we trim off the edges instead of discarding these edges we can quickly turn them into a delicious snack take melted butter in a bowl and add chopped garlic and pizza seasoning then mix well apply this dressing to the cut sides of the bread ensuring it's evenly coated on the bread sticks air fry them for 6 to 7 minutes or bake them in the oven alternatively you can fry them in oil if preferred in no time you will have tasty garlic bread sticks made from leftover bread edges give this a try When there is a small amount of leftover idli dosa batter in the fridge, not enough to make idlis or dosas for everyone, then you can make tea time snack from it. To the batter add 2 spoons of refined flour, 1 spoon of rice flour and mix until you get a semi thick consistency. Now add chopped onions, green chilies, chopped curry leaves, coriander leaves, cumin seeds, salt to taste and 1/4 teaspoon baking soda. mix well drop teaspoon of batter into hot oil or use a spoon if it's easier fry them until golden brown these are called punugulu similar to small vadas and very tasty enjoy them as they are with tea or pair them with chutney During the summer season milk sometimes curdles while heating. Many of us make paneer from it or fry chana and add sugar to eat it. Today I will show you an easy way to make kalakan from curdled milk. Start by separating the chana using a strainer or muslin cloth and draining the water completely. Rinse it once with normal water and drain thoroughly. Next heat half a liter of milk in a pan and let it thicken. When the milk reduces to half, add half a cup of sugar and mix well. Add the separated chana and continue stirring while mashing it until it thickens slightly, about 3 to 4 minutes. Turn off the heat and transfer it to a grease container. Sprinkle grated pistachio on top and let it cool before cutting into pieces. Your tasty kalakand is ready instantly from curdled milk. Don't discard the water left from curdled milk. It is a good source of protein known as whey protein. You can use it to knead dough or as a substitute for water in pulses or vegetables. If there is excess, store it in a bottle in the refrigerator for use the next day. And that concludes today's video. I hope you found these ideas helpful. If you have your own fantastic recipes using leftover food at home, please share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Now see you all next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye bye.